Hey guys, how's it going? Tyler here at Orange Rec 50, and today we are going to take on the Cam Grow Assault, which is basically a Camel Assault and a Regrow Assault, all in one. So, a lot of you have been, you know, bombarded with those lately, so I've been trying my best to, you know, come up with some kind of strategy to uh, deal with them. And I definitely have gotten a good start. Let's uh, take a look here. This is like Cloverfield map or whatever. Sure, it is one of the easiest maps, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. And some variation of the strategy would work nicely on, um, you know, other grass tiles and even like jungle tiles, etc. So what the heck did I do? Well, I got a zero one ninja, a zero zero ace, and a zero one mortar to start, or maybe starting with zero zero or whatever. And also my trusty uh, free dart monkey. Uh, man's best friend, of course. And, um, I'm gonna use road spikes. <laughs> For Monkey View Monkey, road spikes are freaking essential. You need them if you want to do well. Um, you're gonna have to use, like, some clever spiking. Like, look, technically my only camel detection right now is the ninja. So I'm using some well-timed road spikes to, uh, knock down the pinks to lower stuff and to use, to let the ninja clean up. Because he would not have been able to handle all those pinks by himself. So, yeah, now we're just using road spikes to help clean up back here. There's a lot of blooms getting through, so... Yeah, you got, you've really got to rely on those road spikes. Just slow down if you feel things are getting a bit scary or whatever. But now I got my mortar all the way up to 0-3. Signal Flare, very, very good upgrade. Even though it is expensive, you kind of need it for uh, Cam Grow Assault. Just because, well, the hardest part about the Cam Grow Assault is the camo. And, you know, towers... A lots of towers with plenty of hopping power can't swap camo. Look, we have a ceramic around round eight. Regrow ceramic too. Those are gonna be very hard to defend. Gonna maybe road spike that just a tad. Yeah, I got a couple spikes in there. It's hard to tell when I actually click, but I'm trying my best to pay attention here. And now the monkey ace. The monkey ace, it seemed kind of stupid. It's just flying around the old middle of the map, not really doing anything. Sure, with one, but two, it starts to make sense. What you wanna do is get the monkey aces so they're opposite from each other, like this. And then, you know, when they're opposite from each other, they will pop a ton of balloons because there will always be a monkey ace over, like, some sort of crowd. And that will just own quite nicely. So, you know, chances are, if you're a high level, like above level 20, you're going to get some Moabs early on. So you definitely need to have some Moab popping power, um, which is why the ninja to balloon jitsu would be very helpful. But before you even do that, Moabs aren't going to come right away but you just want to keep them in mind just in case. But you want to get an Operation Dart Storm. And once you get that, the game is pretty much won. Because Operation Dart Storm has a crap ton of popping power. It is the ultimate cleanup tower, pretty much. And get the uh, second ace to Operation Dart Storm if you can, too. And overall, just flying in the sky, those things will take care of. Like, all the regrows need to take care of. All the camos need to take care of. It's just excellent, excellent tower. And really, the two zero zero aces, you know, just flying around in the middle, is an ex excellent way to build up to it. Because, <laughs> I mean, that does well. Look, all those rainbow regrows, nope, they got destroyed. So now, probably get a spike factory, you know, just for um, safety and, you know, also for Moab popping power. On maps, where the entrance is very close to the exit, you can use this cool little strategy of spike factories that just owns Moabs. It's amazing. Not quite sure if I will do it right away, though. You'll see. But um, also another handy upgrade to have is the Ring of Fire. That thing is also very, very good with cleanup. It pops a ton of balloons, you know, per shot. It's like 60 per shot, and it fires really fast. So, I mean, why wouldn't you want that? It's good for cleaning up, like, large ceramic clust clusters, something like that. Maybe if the aces somehow can't handle it, it's, you know, it's good to have something else that could work, too. So now, here's our first Moab. And, like, three of them came at once, so I was actually not expecting this at all. I had to get my balloon jitsu up pretty fast for two ninja. That helps out a ton. And now the spike factory. You can see the spikes um, can be hit by the Moabs, but not, not by the children balloons, which is an excellent, excellent way to uh, use a spike factory because, you know, Moabs will pass over it, and then the Moab layer will be destroyed, and then the ceramics will go on, allowing for the spikes to pop the next Moab layer. And it's just an excellent, excellent way to shred Moabs, BFBs, even ZOMGs. Like, once you get the Spike Factory to 1-3, you'll be halting even BFBs. But none come during the assault. I don't think anybody was able to send any BFBs, like, at all. But uh, Cam Grow Assaults up the Moabs. This will get you covered. There's plenty of maps where the entrance is close to the exit. So you definitely are going to want to be able to do that. 
at this point is pretty much up to you. Even the Ring of Fire, it's up to you. It's not completely necessary, but the aces kind of are. And so is the Spike Factory, Ninja, Mortar, and the Free Dart Monkey is absolutely necessary. If you do not have the Free Dart Monkey, you will 100% lose every single time. So, I mean, you know, it's up to you. Zero to Village, I mean, you could get, like, I don't know, bombs or something. It's your choice. But, I feel what I had works pretty well. And also, got me no lives lost, too. So, I mean, you know, that's pretty helpful. Even those massive ceramic rushes. I think the Ring of Fire actually helped quite a bit against that. Cleared up uh, pretty well. Also, sending a uh, revenge attack or whatever. But, um... Alright, so... What you kind of, you know, want to make sure you know is just how to, you know, road spike and stuff. Also, let's go for another Cam Grove Assault, huh? This one's on the lake. It's a nice little lake tile. This one isn't too hard, but it is still tough when it's Cam Grow. So this was, I think, Thunderbirds attacking me. The last one was Maddie 521 or something like that. <laughs> I forget numbers. I can remember the words, just not the numbers. But anyways, on the lake. On the lakes and rivers... Boats are your best friends. You want boats. You really want boats. You really, really want boats. Am I making myself clear? Boats are excellent, cheap ways to get good crowd control and also pop the strong balloons too. However, you are going to need a bit of upgrades. For your very first boat, I would recommend 1-3, you know, for faster attacking and also cannon ship, because cannon ship is pretty good area damage, if I say so myself. Then afterwards, if it's a cam grow assault, spam 0-2s. If it's, if there's no camo, then all you need is 0-1s, and overall, you know, that combo will just work together so nicely, just all those boats is just, they make so much popping power together, it's like sweet boat love, but with popping balloons. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You know, a little buck in my throat. So anyways, I mean, you know, let's just kind of keep watching the boats here. It's kind of, you know, repetitive, I suppose. You don't want to go too many boats, though. I think I go, like, um, two, maybe three or four boats total. At least three. Maybe four. But it doesn't look like I'm going for that. What did I get next? I forget. Oh, yeah, that's right. The monkey ace. They're useful on water, too, of course. You definitely want the monkeys for run, for water as well, and get two of them. However, if you don't have mortar, mar, mortar, or if you don't feel like using it, I wouldn't use the mortar super early on boat or on lake or river tiles. I would get the monkey aces up to zero two. That works just as well, and I mean, you know, they can clear up stuff well. So look, I'm doing a bit of road spike uh, play placement to uh, pop the stronger balloons. You want to use your road spikes effect effectively. Don't be afraid to use them even if they cost quite a bit. It's going to save your life. You know, that's worth any amount of money. It's not worth losing if you're, like, if you're trying to be stingy. You know, they're, they're lifesavers, man. And with the aces, again, go for Operations Artstorm. And once you get that, you'll be pretty much set. But the um, opposable aces gets a lot of poppage in as well here, like no matter the map, unless if it's a really hard map like Butterfly. I will admit the three maps I'm going to be playing today, or have played, am playing, and will play, are relatively easy. I mean, you know, compared to some other maps. However, again, it's a start. You know, the strategy will probably work on like 75% of the maps, not all of them though. You know, one of the three strategies that I'm offering up here. Although there are, they all are pretty similar. I'll try to make some like level specific strategies, like say totem poles or you know butterfly or something. I'll have to work on something eventually. I'll try my best, but uh, yeah. So really, here just get those opposable Operation Dart Storms because Operation Dart Storm pops so much, like absolutely so much. And again. Once you get those up, it's kind of trivial, but not completely. Like, look, that's a pretty big ceramic rush there that could hurt. Uh, nope, it looks like a road spike. That's, again, clever road spiking. You need good timing. And also try to get the aces so at least at some time they're directly over the track. Because when they're directly over the track, all 16 of their darts will, you know, hit the balloon at least once. As opposed to, like, four or five of the darts hitting. You'll get all 16 hitting. 
So, if this is a Moab tile, you're pretty much done here. If not, you probably want to get some Moab popping power. Uh, destroyers. 3-2 boats are very good Moab popping power. Those are a possibility. So are 2-3 boomerangers. They're also good for cleanup. But, I mean, it is kind of trivial. You cannot use bombs on water. So, I mean, you'll have to think of something else. Possibly dartlings. I just didn't feel like using dartlings because I was too lazy to uh, keep aim aiming them the whole time. Plus, I was probably texting while playing this, too. So... Yeah, it's not safe to text while ballooning or whatever. So anyways, here's our first mod. Really, with the um, just the darts and the grape shot, that in itself does quite a bit of damage against mobs. I'm not even getting the destroyers yet. I'm just going for 0-1 boats. Those will shred the mob layer off pretty nicely, actually. Yeah, look at that. You know, it, it's just destroying the mobs, like, especially since not too many are coming. Also, Ring of Fire, if you can get it. Um... Yeah, you know, get get that uh, up, you know, it's a ton of popping power just in the back. So again, probably once you get that initial Moab popping power, it's it's trivial. Whatever the heck you want to do, do it. Just don't do anything stupid. Uh, Blade Maelstrom is also good to have in case things get out of hand. Like once, I actually thought it was safe, then a massive Regrow Rainbow Rush came. I'm like, oh crap, what do I do, what do I do? Don't be afraid to sell a monkey ace to use a couple Blade Maelstroms, you know. I've learned that in the past. Um, you know, in case like a massive regrow rainbow or ceramic rush comes, you're gonna need those. Um, so yeah. Also, I guess you guys should know, since, because, or the reason why this isn't in 1080p is because these games were recorded before Christmas. So I didn't even have my laptop, you know, at the time I was recording this. So, yeah. <laughs> so be it. Whatever's, I'm, again, trying to make the transition. I... It's kind of pointless for me to just transport them to my laptop because, I mean, the quality of the games that were recorded were bad. Like, it's just not... It, it's it's out of my uh, control at this point. I, I'm, not, I'm actually getting a bunch of destroyers now. Like, look how quickly that'll just shred through the Moab layer. Even, like, five of them or so, they'll get taken down pretty easily. This might have been an extra Moab assault, too, with the cam grow. So, yeah, that's what it seems like. These are a ton of Moabs. And <laughs> it's at the point where it's like so trivial, you could do literally anything. You could spam 0 0 dart monkeys. You could spam 0 0 tax shooters. You could spam 3 3 tax shooters. If you know how. Um, you could go for a bunch of snurpers or a bunch of ice towers. Ice towers could be useful. Arctic wind, especially under a 0 3 village does a ton of popping power. I mean, that's really solid cleanup if you're getting, like, mass amount of BFBs and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you might be dealing with BFBs eventually. You know, I mean, from here, right now, it's actually pretty... It's still pretty trivial. BFBs wouldn't be that bad. Like, look how quickly we go through seven Moabs or so in a row. All those rigorous ceramics, pshaw. They don't stand a chance. I'm just trying to upgrade stuff because my uh, CDO man it just wants me to upgrade all my towers and rebeat it, of course. So, um, <laughs> yep, that's uh, taking out Thunderbirds, pitiful balloons. I, we got one more tile here to go across, though, guys. So don't leave me yet. It's going to get... Yeah, a bit tougher. Also, there, there's my little uh, dingus out of it. Also, this uh, this assault from Lady Anne Tramp, courtesy of him slash her. So anyways, River Tile. Similar idea, except boats are not favored. They are not the super cheap boats that they were before. You might only be able to afford a 0-3 boat to start off with, or you might only be able to start with a 0-2, but still try to go for that 1-3 eventually. Just save up for it and go for it. Um, because, like, camel leads could come on freaking round one. You need something to deal with that. Otherwise, pineapples and road spikes works fine, but I'd rather have a 1-3 Buccaneer. I mean, that, that, that's just me. So, I mean, it's the same kind of Buccaneer spam again. Really, you're only gonna need to get a 1-3 Buccaneer followed by two or three zero two uh, boats, and then you can head back to aces. Because, really, aces are the true hero in here as well along with the road spikes and the free dart monkey. Probably wouldn't have been able to do this without the free mo dart monkey or the road spikes. <laughs> Here, though, on the river, even though you may think you're safe, like, you know, I'm just going through the motions, getting those boat stuff, you're still gonna, you know, have to worry bits because unexpected stuff can come, and it'll catch you with your pants down, and that's never fun. When the pedo catches you with his pants, your pants down, he can do anything he wants, and anything he wants is not good terms. 
ever. <laughs> so, yeah, we're on wave six. A bunch of little regrows coming, whatever. I don't know. Boats have solid popping power, though. The grape shot cleans up nicely, and of course, the cannon from the cannon ship does excellent. So, I mean, just more boats. I require more boats. Regrow zebras, those could be a bit of an issue. No? Maybe? I don't know. Also, regrow leads are a bit of an issue. Here's how I tackle regrow leads. Um, spike, also, by the way, this is gonna hurt. Uh, you definitely want to have, like, a bunch of money on you at all times so you can actually spike the balloons they're getting through. I was not able to, um, because I was low on money and then a bunch of lives to get through. But if you come across regrow leads and your boat's, you know, kind of being stupid about it, what you want to do is look to see if there's any regrow bl blacks and spike those, because the transition from regrow lead to regrow black is actually pretty huge. You know, I would not, uh... You know, like to have multiple re regal lead. So let the boat, you know, pop the lead into blacks, spike the blacks before they can come back into leads. If that makes sense. So let's see if I do it this time. You probably won't have to if, you know, you have a bunch of defense or if it's not too many uh, leads. <laughs> but again, opposable aces. You know, that's really what helps. There's always going to be an ace at all times over like the dangerous areas so yeah look regrow rainbows here i'm actually spiking the regrow zebras here too because i definitely don't want them coming back into regrow rainbows because those can be deadly like you know if you're not careful you can automatically double the amount of regrow rainbows within like a couple seconds and that's not good that's where you got to use that uh, smart road spike usage also a ton of regrow rainbows here go crazy with the road spikes all right you know it, it happens if you like you know run out of road spikes or whatever you know, it, it, they'll be well spent, spent if you run out. But I would not have survived that regrow rainbrush there if I didn't use, like, 70 road spikes. Also, I guess i do something different here. i sell one of my aces to the Operation Darkstorm, which I feel was a pretty uh, good decision. Uh, just because I realized I'm running out of road spikes, I can't keep saving myself much longer. You know, I'm just going to have to go to the Operation Darkstorm if I have to. It's much more effective than relying on two zero zero aces. So if you have to take that drastic measure, go for it. You know, Operation Dart Storm is the cleanup machine. 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 Yeah. So many ways to say machine. It's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, again, once you get the aces up, it's almost trivial. Unless if you only, you're getting Moabs, which I am this time around again. But look, the entrance is very, very close to the exit. So what am I going to do? Spike factory. Also, pay attention to your spike factory spikes, though. They keep getting eaten up like every single balloon that makes it by. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try repositioning that. Because I do not want my spikes getting eaten up by balloons before the Moabs come. Then my spikes will be absolutely useless. So time to get these up now. So I can just absolutely shred the Moab layer. There's like a ton of grass tiles that, you know, have this property. Um, maybe even a jungle tile? I, nah, I don't think any jungle tiles do. But at least like five tiles have this property where you're able to do that. And also, don't forget my little trick, guys. Um, getting rid, rid of uh, some of the bad tiles like you know going around your city around the perimeter and looking for like where the hard tiles are beat those regu um you know in a regular game because you don't want to come across them in a monkey v monkey game like butterfly um like that one lake tile that's pretty evil um you know totem poles that kind of stuff mustache even that one's pretty evil so i mean yeah try to complete those before you get them for monkey v monkey because you do not want to get those for monkey v monkey <laughs> and again my spike factory spikes just ate like five moabs total seven moabs total now nine i'm actually watching the spikes the only thing it has popped has been moab so i mean yeah even though it ran out of spikes there it still weakened up the moab pretty nicely too and also, there's my 1-3 uh, Spike Factory. You don't need to get it to 2-3, probably because leads are not going to make it that far. You know, it's, it's a waste, really. Yeah, no need to. And once you get that up, it's trivial again. Just get stuff that has plenty of popping power. Don't sit there and do nothing. You do want to spend all your money just in case, like, if an evil, massive ceramic rush comes. I'm getting a Bionic Boomerager here. Not too bad an idea. Tag shooters also work, you know, except on the maps where those are banned. I forget which tiles they're banned on, but you never know. They could always be banned. Always. Well, I'm, I'm actually watching the uh, SD file for my uh, voice, and we're getting some weird shapes. Like, look, I just made an elephant. Well, I mean, you guys can't see it, but it looks like an elephant, okay? 
Um, hmm. Did you guys know that uh, elephants can uh, scratch their bellies with their penis? Yeah, it's a pretty good trait to have, really. Um, you know, like a fifth leg. You know, well, otherwise they can't exactly reach down there. I mean, I guess they could rely on their trunk, but it seems like it'd be a bit of a stretch. I mean, the penis is just always there when you need it. Oh, okay, look, I'm actually not out of the woods. I'm selling a couple boats. I don't know why I didn't just sell an ace, but whatever. I did that to get a blade maelstrom, and that was actually kind of useful there. That was a massive regrow ceramic rush. You know, you need to do that, otherwise you're probably going to lose. You know, it's just going to come in handy. So, I, it's getting pretty close to close, uh, finishing the video. It gets pretty trivial from here. And, well, I hope you guys learned something about defeating camo uh, regrow salts. Not every single regrow salt is going to be the same. So, I mean, there's going to be some variation, which is fun about Bloom's Monkey City, in my opinion. But use this more of a as a guide than as a sure victory thing because this won't work like a hundred percent of the time but a good amount of the time it should work so thanks all you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and um yeah camo regrow salts feel free to keep sending them at me though i do do need to keep working on strategies for other maps i have a totem poles map that i just you know i'm not going to beat it normally because i want to come up with a strategy for that i really don't care too much about my honor or anything like that i don't give a crap about achievements or whatever so don't be afraid to keep sending them at me um i'm willing to take it although what would be nice is that if you if you send it tell me it's a camel regrow assault so i know to record from the beginning it's kind of annoying to get out the recording software i'm like is this a camera regrow assault is it not i'm not sure let's try it and then i have to stop the recording that's never fun it's kind of a waste of time really so let me know if it is a camera regrow assault also apparently i clicked the video oh that's <laughs> apparently i'm just doing a free offer there i don't know why but apparently i am so um yeah Let's see. Alright, whatever. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, have a great day. See you all and peace.